Hello, this is Mark from My Keys to Music. Thanks for joining me on this video. Today we're talking about your Nord Stage 3 and the fact that there are different hardware versions of it out there in the wild. The version that you have, if it's a newer version, may be distinctly different than the versions that were originally released. Now, they're not different in the sense of capability or overall functionality. The differences are on the hardware panel itself. The front panel has changed. Some of the button assignments have changed. Some of the knobs. In fact, there's one instance where a knob has been added to the panel. In addition, there was an option to have a Nord music stand. There's two holders in the back that hold the stand. And when the Nord Stage 3 first released, these, uh, the stand was compatible with the Nord um, 76 key and the 88 key. It was not compatible with the 73 compact version of the Nord Stage 3, uh, making a lot of people quite disappointed, especially if they didn't know that before they bought it or didn't realize it before they bought it. Well, there's a little secret here. If you go to the Nord website, nordkeyboards.com, so if you then select Products, Nord Stage 3, then click Accessories, here's the music stand, and if you read the fine print, you'll see it says Nord Stage 3 Compact Revision B. So if you have Revision B, you're going to have compatibility with the music stand. If you don't, uh, you won't see two black stand holders on the back, back panel of your Nord Stage 3. Okay, so that's the first change. Now let's talk about some of the other changes. And by the way, if you want to read more about these changes, um, at least in a forum version of this, um, there's actually a pretty good post here, and I'll put the description below this video in a link so you can read about it for yourself because it, it goes on and on uh, and gives you some nice screenshots. But let me just show you how to no locate the version that you have. If you look in the front panel of your keyboard, all the way to the right, you'll see in small print it says Handmade in Sweden by Klavia, and then V2.0 or V5.1. So this is, this is what version 2.0 looks like. Let me show you what version... Uh, there's another better shot of 2.0. And then here is what Revision B looks like, version 5.1. So Revision B, I think, is the main hardware revision where the buttons might have changed or the printing has changed. I don't know what this version 5.1 means. Maybe that's the layout, the actual writing on the front panel. And Revision B represents uh, the version with the stand in the back. I really don't know. Um, I'm not part of the manufacturing process at all, but if someone does know and who is part of the manufacturing process or who knows someone who knows somebody who's part of the manufacturing process, please put a comment so we can learn more about this. But for now, um, I'm relying on this post here at the Nord User Forums, which, by the way, is a great repository of information, very detailed information in most cases. For those of you who want to learn more about your Nord Stage 3 or have a particular issue, you simply go here and search for it and you will likely come up with some form of an answer or someone who has something to say about it. There are thousands of people on this forum, and they're very good contributors and uh, many more, more expert than me in many cases. Um, but be that as it may, um, they don't always do videos, and I like the video format, which is why this YouTube channel uh, exists. So with that said, let's take a close, detailed look at the comparisons of the panel, just out of pure curiosity. Now, I'm going to take you to my actual course here. And this is a preview of the course. For those of you who are already a student, you've seen this and know what this is all about. But I carved out some dedicated lessons here. Uh, in particular, this one shows the differences both in the program area as well as the synth area. So what I'd like to do is take you uh, a little bit closer. Let's first start with the synth engine and take a look at the differences there. Okay, here we have the previous version, which is the version that I own, and that's all my videos are predicated on the version I own. And then we have here on the right, the new version. So when you're looking at this, you'll know left side is previous version, right side is new version. A lot of times I'll get a student saying that's a different than mine, so I have to explain to them that the functionality is the same, but the layout might be different. So let's look one by one. So the first difference we have here is the button to run the arpeggiator. On the old version, the button was far to the left, down below here, instead of over by the arpeggiator. Well, on the newer version, they figured that out. They said, well, why not run the arpeggiator near where the arpeggiator, other, you know, knobs and, and buttons are? So that's been uh, a nice welcome change there, I would say. Okay, the second thing to note is that on the new version, 
they've added a button or a light actually and a functionality where if you hold the shift button and push the pitch stick you'll you can navigate over to the range and this range represent represents the pitch stick range which as you know um, in later versions of the operating system the pitch stick had uh, changed it went from limiting you to negative two semitones and positive two semitones which was the only option and not selectable i mean that's it was fixed it was hard coded in there they opened up the operating system to give you more options now you can still do the negative two and positive two but now you can do the negative all the way up to negative 12 on the left side uh, and then positive two on the right and some other options in between and i actually have a lesson for that on the pitch stick itself and those changes so if you want to check that out uh, check out the link here all right so that's the range and that's a welcome change there over here over by the synth preset they've designated lights for user versus sample um, synth presets so that can be handy to distinctly uh, determine the differences there and see it visually um, and then uh, the big change is the fact that they actually have three knobs below the oscillator oled display here versus two two knobs on the old version three knobs on the new version. The middle knob here is an oscillator configurator, which allows you to change the oscillator that is being used as the enhancement oscillator on the right side. Different than the pitch here. Now on the old version and the one that I did all my lessons on, you'd have to hold the shift button and then move the oscillator to knob in order to change the oscillator type that you were using. If you didn't hold the shift button, you could change the knob and then you'd get the, um, the different variations within that oscillator. All right, so that's the synth engine. Let's go take a look at the other. Let's navigate down here in the course to the program area and look at the differences there. So quite a few differences in terms of what the button labels are and the functionality under those buttons. But keep in mind, I'm going to say it again. Just because the layout changed or the way you get to things doesn't mean there's newer, better features in the newer version of the Stage 3. The sounds and all the things and the capabilities are all the same. It's just a matter of a little bit different on how you get to those pieces of information. Okay, so under Live Mode, on the old version, you had Program Initialization. Now over here, you have Organize instead. So that's been moved around. In that same area, you have the KB zones under button five versus utility under button five. And utility is probably a better name because there's more than just KB zones under this button now. Up under the transpose button on the old version, that's where you would find your panic button. And then over here on the transpose, this is where you have your program initialization area. So that's been moved around. And then under the list knob, where you have your page up and page down, you have program level under that button and organize here. On the right, you simply have bank. Now, for those of you who are paying close attention, you might ask yourself, where did the panic button go? Well, it actually moved over to the piano section of the Nord panel, and it's below the timbre option, which, by the way, has also been renamed to timbre from the previous name, which was piano slash clav. So some things have been moved around most likely for the better because chances are they found they either receive user feedback or maybe they had reasons to change things around or an opportunity to change things around since they were adding that keyboard stand capability in the back maybe they said uh it's time to update the layout but really i'm not i really can't speak for clavia in this case because i really don't know i kind of feel sad or embarrassed that i don't know but i really don't have any direct connections to clavia at this time which I always say is both a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, it's good because it keeps me neutral. Uh, it's bad because maybe I don't know all the inside scoop and can potentially share it with you. But be that as it may, those are some interesting things that I wanted to bring to your attention because a lot of people do ask, uh, why is my Nord Stage 3 different than yours? And is yours better? Is mine better? People really just are curious about that. So I figured I'd do a video on it and then talk about it. All right, there's a lot more to come. Uh, hopefully, we'll be getting back to a little quicker pace on the video releasing. Uh, I have been really held up by uh, the crises of the day and managing my other business, as well as just um, trying to get the sample editor course out, which is out now. It's completely free if you want to learn how to make samples on your Nord Stage 3 
or any Nord actually that can work with samples, uh, including even the Nord Piano 4, the Nord Grand, um, the Nord Wave 2 coming soon. All of that is capable with the Nord Sample Editor 3, so check that out if you haven't already. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. Got a lot of videos like this, mostly focusing on Nord keyboards at this time, but we may expand down the road. All right, thanks for joining me. Catch you on the next one.